Welcome to this tutorial of FreePlayer. After the installation, we need to change a setting when using Windows 7. On your desktop, there's a shortcut for FreePlayer. Right-click on the icon and select Properties. Then, on the Compatibility tab, select Run as Administrator. Once this setting has been done, you can start FreePlayer. When you run FreePlayer for the first time, you'll see several applications within the FreePlayer workspace. You can arrange these to meet your own preferences. All screens will be explained in this or other tutorials, so don't worry about them much now. Just arrange them in any way you like for now. When you're done, you can save your layout as the default workspace. Just click on Save This Workspace. There's also a built-in 1280 by 1024 layout for users with larger monitors, if you prefer this display size. Let's load this one now for this tutorial. Next, we need to configure the sound cards for each player. On the left, you can select the sound cards if you have more than one. Each player and the preview can be assigned its own sound card. When you have a 5.1 or 7.1 sound card, you can also use the settings on the right to use the multiple speaker system of the sound card. Sometimes, other cards like ASIO can also be used with the speaker selection. When you're done with all the audio settings, click on Activate and Save Audio Settings to make the assignment. You can always change these afterwards if you need to. There are also some default settings for FreePlayer itself. When you use the Villaman kit for remote start, you can set the fifth input channel either to run the autopilot or start the iPlayer. Channels 1 through 4 will start players 1 through 4. You can also select No Fail Safe and Automatic Pilot. This is a setting that when the autopilot is on, the player will not start unless you manually start a player. When there's no fail save, the autopilot can have errors when the playlist is at the end or some files are missing. Next, you can make some changes in the default layout for the mixer panel. Make the selection you want to use whenever free player starts. You can also set the default preferences for files and clock settings. The start on time feature will be explained in another tutorial. The next setting is whether you want the players to stop when the start button on your mixer is released. If you don't have closed contacts, then don't use this setting. The last setting you need to make here is for the audio folders for the files window. Select the audio folder where the search needs to start and where Explorer 1 and Explorer 2 will start when displaying your audio files. Save these settings and we're almost done. FreePlayer features hotkeys that can come in handy if you don't have console remote starts. To view or change the hotkeys, click on Hotkeys from the menu bar at the top of the screen. Then click the Edit field of the hotkey and set any keystroke combination you prefer. Now the key combination will be displayed in the field. Click on Set Hotkey to make the assignment. When done, click Save and on the next startup your hotkeys will be assigned. It's important to note that these hotkey settings are active for your entire computer whenever FreePlayer is running. Now you're ready to begin Playout. FreePlayer works with a main playlist area and four jingle playlist areas. When you only need to use jingles, drops, or other fillers, you can drop files into any of the Player 1 through 4 jingle playlist areas, which is below each player. Let's drag and drop some files into the separate players first. Now you can start to play out all channels manually. You can also make a main playlist by dropping files into the main playlist area. All players will play files from the main player, but when a specific player has files in the jingle player, these will play and not the main playlist. Dropped files can be rearranged by dragging them to a new position in the playlist. Free player will always follow the list top to bottom. You can also use multi-select to drop files into the players. This covers the basic system functionality of free player. In the next tutorial, I'll explain some more about the main playlist and how you can smooth mixing in automatic or semi-live mode. I hope you enjoy FreePlayer, and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them in the forum located at www.verdonshot.eu. That's www.verdonshot.eu.